Welcome inside the Rogers Center. The Blue Jays back after their all-star break, starting a series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. This marks the first time they're taking on former fan favorite Lourdes Gurriel Jr. since he was dealt to the Diamondbacks, and the first time that Blue Jays' Dalton Varsho will be taking on his former team. I know so many of you had this circled in your calendars, but I had this series circled in my calendar because it marks the debut of the Matt Chapman design shirt. He designed this. I want to know what you yeah. think about his design. That's that's quintessential Matt Chapman right there. Yeah, you got you got his pre his pre pitch stance, uh, and then a, a gold glove. I don't think he has any platinum gloves on here, but let's not forget he's a two-time platinum glove winner. He's the best I've ever seen. Diving stop, Chapman. The backhanded flip to Bichette, and on to first for the double play. Chapman has his own style of play on the field that has earned him the reputation as one of the best third basemen in the league and his style off the field. Let's talk about Chappie's style in general. You know, he'd get some flack, but I think he's stylish. He, he may not like sleeves on his shirts, but that's his own style. Yeah, he, he's stylish. He, he pulls it off. Not many people can, but, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's one of one. There's no one else like him, and everyone in our clubhouse loves him. And... He, he is who he is. He, he is not going to put on a front or, or do anything. He's going to be Matt Chapman. And, and for me, from the outside looking, I appreciate that. I go to battle with that man seven days a week. Belt and his teammates did try to do their best chappy when they dressed up as him. And Belt, as you can see, had an interesting interpretation of Chapman's style. Yeah, I, I just look, I was just trying to look for like the biggest clown shirt I could find. And uh, there was actually a literal clown shirt on there I thought about getting, but. This guy, this has the fish on there, so I had to go with that, and I felt like it, it fit Chappy a little bit. What did you think of his take on Matt Ooh, Chapman? I, I love it. Uh, you know, he uh, belts another guy. He he somehow pulls these things off. I up top, I don't I re don't really know what's going on. That might be like the Kevin Biggio do rag type skull cap thing. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there either. But as for Chappy's shirt, he designed Kiermaier needs the hookup. I, I definitely hope I can get one in size large and, and I'll be I'll be rocking it because I love Chapman. I support him in any way I can. Matt, can you break down your inspiration to this? I can. Okay, so here, do you want to hold it and I'll break it down? So, obviously, you know, I wanted to make things, all things Blue Jays, all things Canada, all things me, I guess, as well, since it is my t-shirt. But So, like, number one, obviously, Canadian flag. We got the Blue Jays logo, so we got Canada and the Blue Jays. Um, you know, we got poutine, which is native to Canada. I uh, have. And then uh, beers, because who doesn't like a cold beer? Uh, and then, you know, a couple things, and the Rogers Center. And then a couple things about me uh, would be, you know, my number, obviously, and then gold glove, um, and then my logo and music. You know, you know, so I DJ for the team a little bit, so... I think that all things included, it, it was a fun way to make it, you know, a fun baseball Toronto Blue Jays shirt. So I hope the fans like it. I think they're going to love it. Also, stop trying to take my job. That was fantastic, Matt. <laughs> so first of all, what is some of your favorite artists? Um, well, like if we're going classic rock, I'd say like Led Zeppelin. Uh, if we're going in the 80s, maybe like Boston or Talking Heads, 90s, maybe Sublime. And now I listen to, I listen to a little bit of everything. So I, there's like no one thing. This shirt, you're gonna see 15,000 people wear it. Is there anyone you'd like to see wearing it? Like I'm thinking we could get Drake maybe wearing it. That would be great. Beyonce. Okay. Aaron Judge. I don't know, I, I don't know. We'd have to get a bigger size for him <laughs> for sure. But you know, you know, he does like me. So maybe he would support me, but I don't know if I don't know if he'd want to wear the Blue Jays logo. Uh, I would describe his look as uh, maybe like a Hawaii clubbing scene type <laughs> type look. Uh, it fits him perfectly. Hawaiian clubber. Uh, I would. I would. I mean, uh, Hawaiian works maybe because beachy because I'm from Southern California. Maybe like a little bit of a you know beach California punk rock. <laughs> what did you think about his interpretation of you? I loved it. Uh, I wouldn't wear a koi fish shirt, but I love that he, he wore that, and, and then I like that he wore a bald cap. Last thing I'll bug you about is you do love to customize your shirts. What do you think the average is of, or percentage of shirts that you take the sleeves off of? Uh, I got two shirts in my locker with the sleeves off, but I wear them every day.
right, so if you're hoping to get this amazing thread designed by Matt Chapman, it goes to the first 15,000 fans on Saturday, and hopefully it also fits you like a glove.